Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're doing an update on what is next for me, what is coming up in the future. I know many people have been asking Gabriel when's your next fight, Gabriel what's gonna be happening with the YouTube channel. So we're just gonna cover that quickly. I am actually in Edmonton visiting my brother today, I'm gonna be heading back home very soon. And it just seemed like a good time to sit down. I didn't have any content prepared for today, but like I said, many people wondering, when is my next karate combat fight? It will in fact be a karate combat fight because I'm under contract with them for a certain amount of time. And I still, I believe have three fights left in that contract. After the last one, many people said, Gabriel, what's gonna be next? I fought Screevers, lost by an extra round split decision, which in my opinion was a bad decision because I knocked him down in the last round and he took me down four times with wrestling takedowns, which according to the karate combat rule set are illegal. So people went, oh, what are you gonna do? Do you feel like it set you back on your path towards the karate combat title? Of course, karate combat title is my ultimate goal within the organization, but it hasn't been something where I'm going, okay, I have to get it and I have to get it right away and it's gonna change my career. It's not really, right? The glory belt and the Bellator belt were the big things. And now this is like the icing on the cake. So if it takes me an extra fight or two to get it, that is fine. Next fight with Karate Combat. You can expect to see me back there in November or December. I did get offered a fight earlier and I turned it down because number one, the training camp would not have been long enough. And number two, I'm still burned down from that last one because I started prepping up for the fight, I believe in March. I did all of March, all of April. I was thinking I was gonna fight in May and then I got pushed back for some reason. They pushed me back to June, so I did this extremely long training camp and something that I've learned, which I think will pertain to many of you guys out there, is you do not want to be burnt out in training camp. Yes, it'll come towards the end of camp, but early on, if you are burnt out, it's gonna be a long, very hard road. And just a couple weeks ago when they offered me the fight, I went, you know what? That last, I think it was like a 13 week training camp, something like that. 12 to 14 weeks and it was too long and it burnt all the motivation out of me to get ready for another one. That doesn't mean I stopped training. I still train every day. I still run or hit the bag or do upper body weight exercising or something like that. But I did not want to be back into four hours a day and I'm still kind of on the edge of like, ugh, I don't really want to get back into training camp yet. So November, December, that is the planned Date of return, who will I be fighting? I don't know yet. Most likely I'll have to win one more fight and then I'll fight for the belt. And that's the way I think it's gonna play out. So you'll probably see me back there November, December, probably see me back in the new year, hopefully in March or April, maybe early May, fighting for a karate combat belt. That is the plan right now. In terms of the YouTube channel, big plan coming up, big change. I've always been giving free content on YouTube and now I'm gonna have my first course, which is gonna be focused on self-defense. And many of you guys know that I am a big advocate for pushing, not I guess the self-defense, self-defense for striking. So the defense of striking, I should say that. Self-defense makes it sound like it's, you know, how do, when, when somebody attacks you on the street, it's not that. It's how do you defend effectively jabs, crosses, uppercuts, how do you catch kicks, how do you use the long guard, what do you do when you're rocked in the round, like what well, all these different things which don't get touched on not only on YouTube to the extent I want but also in your gym because realistically I'm going to say 90% of instruction is focused on offense as opposed to defense. So the plan right now, focus on this upcoming fight, go get a win, wrap it up, start filming the course, have a course ready for you guys in early new year, go and fight for karate combat belt in the spring. And then from there I will move forward. But that is my immediate plan, my immediate goal. Everybody on the channel who's supporting me, who's always watching, rooting for my fight career. I appreciate you guys so very much. It means a lot to me. And I'm just going to keep pushing forward and add another belt to the collection. And then once the contract, with Karate Combat expires, I will reassess and see what is gonna come next. And I couldn't honestly tell you, re-sign with Karate Combat, possibly. Retire, possibly. Sign with 1FC, possibly. Really thinking out there, 
try and get like one or two fights in UFC, possibly, that would just be like, you know, the very end of my career. Like I'm doing one or two fights and I'm gonna retire right after because I, I, I know, I'm not unrealistic, that my wrestling level, my jujitsu level will never be high enough to get to that top 10 tier. It's just, it takes years, years and years and years of jujitsu and wrestling to get good enough and I just don't have the passion and the drive to do the jujitsu and the wrestling to that extent. Would I buckle down for a year and learn a bunch and do a fight or two? Yes. So I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I appreciate all you guys and I'm gonna head back home today. I'll get back to regular content on the channel. So keep your eye out for that. And as always guys, train hard. I'll see you back here very soon.